So here's my Prism E3 kite cam rig. I like using the E3 for the kite cam because the trailing edge doesn't flutter, it's silent. And it's got a nice wind range, it's 3 to 25 I think listed. And it's, it's smooth and stable in the sky, it flies real smooth. So I recently redid my rig, I used to have four bungees that uh, hooked into the four loops on the corners of the sleeve and, and uh, hooked into the kite in the frame like that. But it, the bungees allowed for a lot of up and down vibration and side to side vibration and flopping away from the spine too. So I rethought that and now I did a, I put a single stitch in the very top back of the sleeve right there where it hits the sail with uh, just needle and 20 pound fishing line. And I poked it through the sail and tied it around the spine right here. And I put some of that sticky back Velcro um, on the spine here, and that traps, it's the hook uh, side, not the loop side. So the rough hook side traps that line and keeps it from flopping up and down and tearing that hole out more, which it tends to do in high wind. And that prevents that from um, sliding up and down. It would, it would do that in high wind or when I would pump the lines. And it also keeps it from flopping away from the spine, which it would do when I pump the lines too. So. That seems to work out really nice. Then on the bottom, I just have regular old string here running from the bottom uh, loop of the sleeve to the other side of the standout here. And same thing on the other side. These hooks, you don't really need them. You can just tie the string right through the loop there if you want. But um, these are fishing lure hooks. They come in a little pack, of, I don't know, five or ten, and they're real cheap. But they come with barrels on the end here that allow it to spin freely in the water. But I take those off because they can break. So, and then the wire here is just to hold the kite angle up and away from the spine there. So you're looking more at the horizon instead of down at the ground, which is kind of boring. So. I don't know the gauge, but it's you know stiff enough that you can still bend it, or not so stiff that you can't bend it, but stiff enough that it holds its shape against the tension of the string there. And it's five inches from here to there, so 14 inches would be plenty to do all your bending. But before you bend it, you want to um, sew this little piece of Velcro in here, and you can get it in the machine if you do it before you bend it and nothing fancy, just a wide stitch there. And that makes this adjustable because there's I sewed some Velcro into the sail right here. So now we can move the um, camera angle up a little, up or down a little bit, which is nice because, you know, depending on the wind, wind speed, that changes the height of the wind window, which changes the angle of the kite relative to the ground, which determines the camera angle. So now we can compensate for that a little bit, which is nice. And also, when you do drop this down, now that loosens up your string here and makes this all floppy. So all you have to do is slide your standouts out a little bit, outward along the spreader, and that tightens everything back up. Now you're nice and snug again. And that works really well. And I just have the wire hooked into the same tab as the, as the string. I don't use these rubber bands anymore, which I showed you in that earlier video. You can forget about those. So I think uh, this is working out really well. There's still a little bit of up and down motion there. I'm still thinking about that, but overall it's really eliminated almost all of the vibration in the video. So I'm really pleased with this so far. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thanks.